Hi and welcome to Creative RC. Today we are going to review the GTEC T909. This is a FV receiver that you can wear as a watch. Let's take a closer look. Screen size is 2.6 inches, it weighs 180 grams, it has a 3 dBi antenna, range is 60 meters, and it has a 32 channel receiver. It will last for 1 hour and it takes 1 hour to charge. You charge it with a micro USB cable. We had to buy this thing because this is such a cool product. But is it actually useful for anything? It's not like I can fly the plane with one hand and look at the watch with the other. That doesn't work. Nevertheless, we did test the range of this thing. We compared uh, this to the immersion receiver with a Cloverleaf setup. Let's see how that went. We're now going to test the range of uh, the G-Tang uh, uh, wrist monitor and uh, compare it with this uh, immersion uh, receiver. Uh, it's a bit difficult to see in the sunlight. Yeah. But it works and it's clear image in both of them. Disturbances in both of them. Oh, I lost the signal. On what? Uh, both uh, of them? Uh, no. Uh, on the... On the goggles? On the goggles, yes. Uh, yeah, I have the signal. Perhaps just to wait. <laughs> it's also a circular polarized uh, antenna on uh, uh, the quadcopter and the immersion receiver. But this has just this shit antenna. And good signals on both of them, yeah. So. See what happens when we go here. Oh, more noise on both of them. What? Really? Yes. But the G-Tang should flicker and so on. Yes, it is flickering. More than uh, the immersion? Uh, yeah, it's almost the same. All right, lots of snow on both of them. Yeah, okay. Well, this one should have been. Uh, we have, should have lost the signal on this first. First. But we don't. Yeah, okay. you're suddenly blocking the line of sight, so. Okay. <laughs> the immersion is dropping out first. No. Really? Seriously? Ah, uh, it's. No. I can see on the G tank. The hair is nearly gone. This is not happening. More money. I do have signal on both of them, barely. Well, I think it's a tie. So as you can see, the range of this is almost too good to be true. How can such a small device like this compare to a big immersion receiver with a cloverleaf setup? So this was not a very scientific test, and the range is not that important anyway. Why is this such a great product? The range seems very good, so you can follow a friend who is flying FPV. You can clearly read the OST data, so if you don't want to fly FPV, but you want to monitor your voltage, you can easily just check your watch. Or perhaps you need to do a cold start of your GPS and it takes some time to lock on. Just leave it, do whatever, and every now and then check your watch. If you want to take a simple picture of a house, this is more than good enough to frame your shot. Perhaps the biggest benefit of this watch is being able to see the FPV signal without putting on your goggles to blind yourself. Like when you are doing some troubleshooting with your FPV signal or if you are flying with other people and you need to figure out a channel that works for you, no longer do you need to take on and off your goggles, and make yourself blind. You can just work while you're looking at the watch at the same time. The frame in my opinion should be black and not green, but I understand why they wanted their product to stand out. And it would be nice with the button to start searching for active channels, so that you can easily check to see if someone is flying nearby. But we conclude that this is an amazing product because it makes everything so convenient, especially if you just use goggles and you don't have an FV monitor ready. We got this from Gearbest and right now it costs $30.
there's just a few left in stock and the discount will only last for a few days. But we conclude that this is an amazing product and we absolutely recommend it. Right now it goes for $30 uh, at Carebest uh, and this is a few days uh, time offer. So you have a limited amount of time and there's only a few left also. So go over to Gearbest and buy this because it is going to be so much more convenient, especially if you're only using uh, FB goggles right now. But I do hope that you enjoyed this review or that you find it a bit useful. But until next time, fly safe and happy flying!